Hey Aries, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. It's always a blessing to have you back here. Today's reading is for you. You know you're a diamond. Shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. Now also my darlings, please make a friendly know that if this reading does not resonate to your situation, please do not get her offended or in your feelings. It only simply means here today that the reading is not for you. However, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so and turn on the post notification. That way you'll be the first one to be notified each and every single time that I do a pull brand new content. Hold on, y'all. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up for me because once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they'll push the videos out into a much wider audience. The channel will go, the video will also go. For all our returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and thank you for the support that you show here on the channel. I do see the love, y'all, and believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Now, please also make a friendly note that the card has been shuffled and the card has been blessed. Before I get into the reading, I pray is a must. Um, we do pray here on this channel, the Seeker Tarot. So I am going to jump into a quick pray, get into your reading and see the messages that come through for you today. All right, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm at my daughter's house, y'all, in my room. And it's night out, as you can see. So, I'm just going to close that up. But it is Thursday night. You won't see this until Friday, okay? Um, yeah, Friday morning, for sure. All right. So this is a general reading. It definitely won't resonate to every single one of you. Take from the reader what resonates to your situation and leave the rest. It could pick up your person's energy past for another future person, even for the cross watchers who are watching. This one could resonate for you also. Okay. All right. And if you do need to have a personal reading um, with me, set up an appointment. Just go ahead and check in the description part of this video and you'll see how to do just that, okay? All right, hon, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's see what's coming through here. All right, let's put this here so you guys can see the cards. All right, so what I'm getting here is the truth that's coming through. Someone is either searching or yearning for this truth that's coming in. Um, maybe someone feels like they've been lied to. Yeah, but I'm getting the first start is what you might need, Aries. Um, some something about a fresh start here, a new possibility. Um, what's also coming through is, hmm, some kind of unhealed wound here. Okay, I'm getting some sort of unhealed wound here. I do feel like this unhealed wound is setting grief. It's like it feels more like grief to me. Like someone is 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 walking in sadness, um, isolation. Some of this kind of lost their way because of this sadness, this grief that's coming through. Yeah, it's time for healing. So it's time for healing. And what angels are saying here with this grief. Healing is coming true and safety. All right, so maybe you need to kind of ask others for help um, based on what you're dealing with right now. Um, I'm getting innocence here. Maybe someone feels that maybe they have been used by a situation here. Um, you feel like someone maybe took you for granted. But I feel like luck is running out, y'all. Luck is running out on whoever might have done this to you. Okay. Feeling, feeling of being mistreated. Now, wisdom is calling moving forward. Now, this is calling for wisdom. And wisdom is having me feel like... You have to also respect yourself, okay? Moving um, away from what is what it is that's making you feeling sad because I'm getting sadness here, okay? Um, I do feel like for some of you, you have a fear of kind of being alone here. Uh, this this alone, some feeling is what's making you go through this. Getting curiosity and peace, yeah. Someone is trying to find their peace here. 
but having a hard time finding that peace. Maybe you need to be depending on yourself and not depending on others. Yeah, it's just a bunch of fear that is coming through here. Fear. Afraid of the unknown here. The possibility of endless. I do feel like you need to know this as well, Aries, because this is coming through. That someone is either dealing with a situation that has not given them any loyalty. Or you feel like you have maybe been betrayed by someone. I'm getting also devotion here. Someone may be trying to anticipate a moment or moving forward from a moment, okay? If that moment is not giving you satisfaction, then it's time that you put the pieces together of the puzzle and move on. I am also getting the home here. The home is getting me confidence. So maybe someone in the structure of this home didn't have their confidence as they should. Or maybe it's time that you connect with the home again. Build confidence to regain love and unity that once was there for some of you, okay? Now, what I do see here as well is, hmm, and it's weird that this card came through, um, but it doesn't say that you need to change your life. Your life is calling for change. You're just going to have to go ahead and accept the things that you can that needs to be accepted and release the ones that cannot because if you continue to go on this road that you're right now going on, it's going to mess around with your success and it's going to have you very unbalanced because balance is what you need right now. Is what they're saying here, all right? With this balance, I'm also getting romance. So there's definitely a romance that is needed here. You're either yearning for this romance for yourself or this romance maybe have um, kind of drift, okay? But there's a new opportunity that is coming through. As far as this romance is concerned, something new, a new opportunity. So I feel like something is going to happen here, but you're going to have to take the leadership with that situation. This could be return, the return of someone um, from your past, okay? Um, this person is asking that you nourish their heart, and this could be you as well. Asking for nourishment here. I see you sharing with this person, okay? Um, especially where intelligence is concerned. You either felt very comfortable in tapping into your intelligence energy, or this could have been them. Um, but that's what I'm seeing here. I'm also getting healing. Healing, healing, healing. Healing wounds. Wounds that might have been um, open. Open wounds from the past here, because this is going to give you hope to move on to the next chapter into your life but you also have to trust your intuition trust your intuition because your intuition will help to guide you is what the angels are saying here okay now what i'm also seeing here for some of you is you moving forward moving forward my darlings is going to have you feeling graceful here but you have to be persistent okay be persistent moving forward because you're not trying to be stuck in a situation that does not need to be stuck in. I do feel like whoever is around you, past, present, or future, this ended or there's an ending coming really soon here. Now, I do see patience here, okay? So for some of you, maybe your patience has been worn out. Your patience has been tested here. But your patience has definitely been um, one that required a communication here. Communication is coming in with strength. Strength is also tapping into the energy of guardianship. That means that maybe for some of you may have children, maybe thought about you, maybe you thought about tying knots with this person. Some of you might have already tied the knots. For some of you, there's definitely things collateral that's tied up with this person. I do see a future here. So a future was needed, a future is wanted here, but there's deceit that's coming through with that. Be your own inspiration is what angels are saying here and be your own creative self, all right? Um, I do feel for some of you, um, you're definitely going to have to find a new possible way to solve this issue here because as I've already dampened your rainbow here is what I'm feeling um, and making you feel very sad here because I did get sadness that's coming through um, for some of you, all right? Um, and sadness is kind of having you kind of not knowing the direction to go in. Let me go ahead and pull some messages here, y'all. And again, just take what resonate from these cards, okay? Um, just leave the rest that's not yours, okay? All right, angels, let's tap into the energy, please. What is your what is it that you need me to share um, with Aries, please? What's 
a message here. That's a message. All right, so, wow. Aries, you have someone that is here to share a thought with you, and this is a person who has passed on, okay? Um, again, take what's yours and leave the rest, all right? But someone from the other side wants you to know, okay? Don't allow the past to hold you back. And they're saying that you need to dry your tears. Dry your tears, all right? Is what they're saying. Dry your tears, okay? Don't cry anymore about it. Don't sulk about it. Don't wonder why about it. Just dry your tears is what you're saying. Okay. Now what I'm also seeing here is someone is saying here, give me a reason to come back to you. Give me a reason to come back to you. So this indicates this could be someone from your past. This indicates that someone um, that you might have been in some kind of a commitment with. There's definitely a separation going on here with you and this situation. Um, and someone is really wanting a reason to come back. Now, if this is you, your person definitely gave you a reason to question their loyalty. Um, and if it's, this is your person, your person is dealing with kind of an ego here, okay? Um, but what I also see here is this was coming through um, i'm getting love and hate no more words unsaid here this relationship for some of you it kind of felt like one minute things was kind of let me bring my light down a little bit y'all it's like you kind of felt at one point sometimes that the relationship was kind of feeling like it was going in the right flow of things but then at times you really didn't know where it was going where your person's mind was Wow. And now I realize why someone from the other side is coming through for you. This is a person that you was very attached to while they were here, okay? And they're saying that you need to wipe your tears. This is, I did say sadness, y'all. Didn't I say that I felt a lot of sadness that was coming through? I did in this deck. I picked up a lot of sadness that was coming through. Tears that was coming through here. Love and aid, no more words and said. Tell me more, angels. Everything will unfold in divine timing, okay? Look at this. Everything. Unseen and seen, all right? If your person or if your situation that you're dealing with is having you feel like there's things that they're not telling, deep inside, your intuition is telling you something is off, don't worry about it. Dry your tears. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Tell me more, angels anymore anymore wow i caught them spying on someone else so someone got caught in the mist someone might have told you something that they seen your person doing something or maybe you did see something look at the bigger picture okay you're greater than you think is what angels are saying. They're also saying here that um, hmm, all we did was yell at each other. The relationship was one that was yelling, a lot of yelling and screaming going back and forth here. And disagreements and conflicts and arguments. Maybe we need to take it slow. Maybe we just need to take it slow is what it is. Tell me more angels. I do all that I can do. So someone already gave all that they could to the relationship. I do all that I can do. However, an angel is guiding you, okay? There's an angel guiding you, Aries. And I do feel this angel is this person that came through your reading, okay? This angel is guiding you. And this angel is assisting you towards your financial freedom. So someone is having a difficult time with finances. This is the person that came through into your reading. I think this person has been like a motherly figure or a sisterly figure, but this person was a person that you would go to for guidance. You were very close. This even feels like a grandmother for some of you. 
it's a it's a more of a mature type of an energy here. All right, so they're saying that you let them in the circle. You let this situation in the circle. Don't come running back, okay? So someone doesn't want this situation back. Don't come running back. Your soul remember. This is an intense connection, okay? You have to remember that your soul remember this is an intense connection okay it is must be an intense connection and this is what is going to have you finding your way to happiness peace and joy i'm getting healing with healing i'm getting i have a feeling we won't last okay look at this not playing y'all healing that came through healing and i have a feeling that we won't last it's not gonna last Go slow a step at a time is what angels are saying that you need to be doing. Just take it easy. Go slow a step at a time, right? I'm also getting you trade you you um, traded a diamond for a rock. Wow. Now I'm also getting I have fearless and ready for love. Is what's coming through here. I do feel like there's a situation here where someone was just. Um, Someone just wasn't happy with what was given. Let's just say that. Someone was not ready for what. Like, someone just got overwhelmed. It's not like they was treated badly, but someone just got overwhelmed. You needed to grow up. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Someone needed to grow up here. Wow. The person is saying that I want us to be happy, okay? I want us to be happy is what they're saying. If we... Don't get back together. I want you to be happy. Even if we're separated forever, I still want you to be happy and have a peace of mind. Look at that. Okay? Peace of mind. Um, I honestly feel like giving up on the relationship is how you feel or this could be them. Take what's yours. Okay? I understand our connection. I'm just not ready to accept it. The person saying they understand the connection but they're just not ready to accept what's coming here, okay? They're just not ready to accept anything, right? Not now, maybe later, but not now is what I'm seeing. I'm going to get the tarot, y'all, and kind of clarify some things here that my intuition is, is having me feel uh, because I do feel like uh, you shouldn't wait or someone does not want to be pressured. And because someone doesn't want to be pressured, someone should not be waiting around here. Because it's, it's going to be more sadness is what I'm feeling. Uh, all right, angels. What is the message here? Please use my body as a temple to give me the messages and to give me the right words to share with the ones that needs to hear it. What is it that I need to share, angels? What are the messages here, please? What's the message here? What's the message? Okay. So definitely someone is putting an end to whatever the situation is. Yeah. Someone is putting an end to the situation because it has to start brand new. Okay. The situation is calling to start over. Someone either wants to start over or someone is either having a hard time doing this. Someone is having a hard time giving. So something has to end here. This dead card in reverse. Something is ending. Someone is done waiting. Someone is putting a full stop to what's happening here because there seems to be an, a, a, a very unhealthy cycle right now. Okay. This two of cups here. This person seems to love you one minute and, 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 very confused the other the other minute i do feel like yeah this person wants to take control want to be the dominant one here this king of wands but also what i do see here is this nine of wands you're done being exhausted and getting ready to walk away with this eight of cups all right making a choice and walking away here because there's still a struggle that is going on i do feel like someone is rather stuck here still stuck um kind of still trying to find one's way here yeah, this kind of wants, yeah, holding on to what it is that's happening here. Holding on here for their life here. 
but not really getting what you really need, okay? Which is the love that is deserved of you, right? I do feel like this energy has definitely been blocked here. This person seems at times to want to fight for the relationship, okay? And this could be you, but what I do see is a lot of fear that is coming through um, this Eight of Wands here, yeah? Um, there's a lot of struggle. There seems to be a third party here, but this feels more karmic here, this lover's card here. Um, not only is it karmic, but it's toxic. I do feel like someone may be either addicted to, to porn, okay, or maybe addicted to something that includes a third party. I do feel like this person may be doing some kind of a threesomes and other things that has to do with that, okay. Um, but what I do also feel is this four of pentacles. Um, someone is just not ready to, to really give in all that they should. And because of that, this king of pentacles is in the reverse. Okay? Is what I'm feeling here. This king of pentacles is in the reverse because someone is not there to help, to assist. And I feel like someone is very selfish right now. Um, and you're not about to be walking around or crying any more tears right now because... You're about to walk away and start brand new is what I'm seeing here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles also in the reverse here. In the reverse, is nothing happening here. Um, someone either put an end to what's happening here, which was love and family structure, or what the plans were, the goals, the movements were. I do feel like money is not going right. Um, with this particular situation, this could be your energy, this could be your person's energy, but someone's definitely a fool. Someone definitely made some very stupid decisions here and caused problem. Um, I feel like for some of you, the money is just going wrong. This Ace of Cups, yeah. The situation has been blocked here. I do feel manipulation coming in, as well as financial situation has been also been blocked. But what I do see is a possibility of something new that is coming in towards you here. And hope someone really is willing to fight for you. And I do feel with this magician, you are able to fight for what it is that you truly deserve here. Okay. Um, I feel like you're done fighting this battle because you're definitely been burnt out. You're definitely been beat up here. And you definitely don't want to wait anymore. Okay, you're not waiting anymore. You don't want to wait anymore. I feel like someone is either thinking about um, relocating, moving away. Maybe there's an opportunity coming in. Yes, yeah, someone is still searching here. Uh, this five of cups, someone is still searching, trying to figure out what to do with this ten of pentacles here. But the problem is a chariot is here. Um, <laughs> and this person is definitely on a limbo, okay? I see a limbo coming in because someone is still trying to find their way to kind of figure out what it is that they really truly want. I feel like you should not wait anymore because you've already put time and effort and energy here. This person is a very young energy, it seems, okay? Um, full of fire, full of flame, full of passion and all that other stuff, but they tend to make stupid decisions here um, that really affects them. And it's, I feel like this is something that they've been doing for some time, okay? Um, but what I do see is you picking up your pieces, okay? And just trying to better yourself and wiping away your tears and just keep moving and do what you got to do and just allow love to come for you when love is ready. I do feel like for some of you may be dealing with um, a Taurus, maybe an earth sign, a, a Virgo or a Capricorn, okay? Um, but either way the story goes, y'all, just love yourself. Love yourself first. And watch God do the rest, okay? Pray about things because prayer just manifests power towards you. And while you're doing that, pray for me because you're going to get this prayer out, okay? And if you do need to have a prayer request for a friend or a family member for yourself, for your person, go ahead and send that request in and I'll do just that for each and every one of you, right? I love you guys. You guys rock. But most of all, always remember to seek first and you will always find.